Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. My name is Sarpal Singh and welcome to Mental Health Matters, a show where we openly talk about mental health. Today is a very special show, it's going to be quite a deep show. Um, the topic we're covering today is grief, loss and bereavement. In Punjabi, grief is Dukh, loss is Vichura and bereavement is, a, uh, is um, of source. Quite a lot of the topics we're going to talk today it will be hitting a lot of people today, so we need to be quite mindful of what we're doing and how we are and our experts um, will be available after us to talk to those people who get affected. So I'll do a show on Jagger, I see a source which you're at the doctor to get a great day. I do then she's a again a coffee don't get any the coffee man then all effect I got on the other one where it's a day show which the sick phone in case they give now no no I'll sell you experts they get bought to China to run all God because of the again um, just sort of like guess the first thing I want to introduce you is uh, someone very very special we spent 18 years as a counselor and psychotherapist UK CP BSCP registered working in the private NHS and independent uh, psychotherapy center she's generic counselor in bereavement from Manchester I would like to say a warm welcome to her Sharon Gorgi for coming on to our show and the next um, um, expert I'd like to introduce you, she's been on a show before, um, Dr. Rajod Gore, she's a doctor and psychiatrist, who works in West London Mental Health Trust for the last seven years, she's a, spe a specialist in palliative care, working with cancer, end of life and quality of bereavement, um, just a warm welcome to uh, Dr. Rajod Gore. So today we're talking about um, loss, um, bereavement and uh, grief. Um, so the first question I want to just um, ask you is, what's the difference between death and dying? Um, death is a strange thing that we don't want to be able to do it, we don't want to think about it. But it's the reality of life. It, it comes to everybody and it knocks on every door. Mm. सानू जो सिखा मिली है ओ ए है कि सानू हमेशा तैयार होना चाहिए था बहुत वास्ते लेकिन ऐसी बहुत थोड़ा सोच दे यार इस बारे डेथ जिस मेंशन है इस पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ इट्स इट्स इनेवेटेबल हैपन समथिंग गोइंग हैपन वी बीन टोल्ड टू बी प्रिपेयर फॉर डेथ बट हाउ कैन यू बी प्रिपेयर फॉर डेथ सानू हमेशा तैयार रहना चाहिए कि हर समय हर समय सानू इस सोचना रहना चाहिए कि एक अंत भी होना और वो जो अंत है उस वेले सानू इस समझ रखनी चाहिए है कि हाँ भी जो इंसान जन्म लेंगे उन्हें क्वरी so quite a valid point that everyone who who is alive has to come to its natural end, and death is that natural end. Um, what is the difference between grief, loss, and bereavement? We'll find out. So, what is what is the difference between grieving, being in the loss phase, and going through the bereavement? Yes, grief uh, is is a process. Mm -hmm. It's a reaction. To, to grieve mm -hmm. um, and, and loss is, is like losing a loved one mm. or it could be a circumstantial loss mm. and bereavement is, is, is a state of grief. And for those um, at home who, sp who speak the Punjabi we talk about grief, loss, what's your take on that doctor? Um, so, yeah, grief is basically duk. Um, in Punjabi, people call it a sorg. Um, it's natural. It's a natural process that happens. Um, it's an adjustment process. Um, just adjusting to um, the loss that you're experiencing. Uh, the loss, um, we call that vichora. So the physical body kind of going um, is called vichora in Punjabi. Uh, so grief is the process that is um, uh, adjusting to that significant loss. And then bereavement is the whole process, and that's what we call absorce. So 
Um, that includes, you know, cultural aspects and um, the actual process of grief and loss. Mm. So stages of grief, the stages of sorg. Uh, grief is a process. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's not linear. Uh, we go through a number of feelings, uh, mm. and, uh, and, and these come through in stages. Mm. Um, and people have done different kinds of research on the subject. And what we're going to talk about is five stages of grief mm. that people normally go through. Do you think the Asian community, especially the Punjabi community, do we grieve well? Um, I think we tend to suppress our feelings okay. or numb our feelings. And as a as a community, why do we why do we suppress our feelings? See, our pre-jo emotions are gone. Jo see, so the jo sorry, jo viral hunde are gone. See, why not do that? I think kai very sanu hastra lagda ki ha sanu strong banna chahiye apne bachche waste ya apne family waste ya apne buzurg waste is karke assi apne andar hi andar apne jo emotions han wo daba ke rakhte han te wo fir kadi na kadi kis samay te ja ke wo bahar nikalde han te kida nikalde hai ke kis ke kinne tarah de signs hunde ne jis tarah ke assi thakavat mehsoos karde han so thakavat is tiredness we feel yeah. that problem mm -hmm. so sleep problems from that jaasi bahut sonde ha ho sakda hai ki saadi saada jo khan peen hai ode vich change aa sakti hai so loss of appetite is something else from that mm -hmm. the stages ki grief the pehli stage hai ki je numbness shock the denial mm -hmm. अपनी ही दुनिया यकीन नहीं करना चाहते कि हाँ जो सा प्यारा है वो गुजर गया है what the feelings like han ji assi yakeen nahi karna chahunde ki jo sade pyare guzar ke aan ke us is duniya to chale gaye han ke oh sade aale duale hi han and how can you there or they stay in that first stage can they ne ke mot to baad chan kantya baad hi assi shock janam nas de vich chale jande hain so you can go into shock phase within couple of hours of of the of the deceased ji aur takriban दो हफ्तों तक जिन्हें तक कि तुम एक्चुअली फ्यूनरल नहीं कर लेंगे या बॉडी नहीं देख लेंगे थोड़ा यकीन नहीं होंगे उन्ने तक कि हाँ वाक्य ही थोड़े जो चाहने वाले सके कि वह गुजर गए हैं it's the the shock factor still is, is there for you or you're still in quite a lot of disbelief yes um ik tarah ke is tarah mehsoos hunda hai ke ha e jo paana hai e wa prayi nahi hai ik cheez mein kafi soni hai ki aise jo koi pyara gurzar janda hai aise kehnde laash aa gayi ya body aa gayi oh we could deny laga ya kidda hai ga i think Dr. Harjeet is guilty. <laughs> just coming back, just coming back to normally um, when we're talking about uh, coming up to the funeral yeah. or coming up to the anthem since could start we normally refer to the person to, as a body or the lash kind of thing. Is that part of the denial as well? Yeah, I mean you go through a whole range of emotions. Mm. Um a whole range of emotions when your loved one's passed away. Um and for different people I guess it is fits in um at a different time so for some people they've accepted when they've seen the body mm. um that that person's died some people think that it just looks like the person's sleeping um for other people until the actual cremations occurred or um the the funeral cer ceremonies happened um they've accepted it then and for others it takes months and years to accept 
the, yeah. fa the fact that the person's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. And Joji, moving on, so the funeral's happened. Mm -hmm. What's What happens then? I think the next phase that we go through, I mean, there's no a, a linear, there's not a linear process, mm. but mm -hmm. the next stage uh, that we can sort of go through is that of feeling anger. Yeah. Um, anger? Yes, that's right, anger we, and so agitation. We can, we can feel gusa about what we gusa about? Yeah, we can feel uh, angry about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, one could be uh, towards the loved one that has passed away. Sachi? Yeah, we can, okay. we, we can think along the lines that they have left us in this difficult situation mm -hmm. that we now find it difficult to handle. Um, we may be angry with the, the doctors or the health professionals because we think that they haven't actually done what they, they could have done, mm -hmm. that they've let us down in, in a certain way. That they should have saved the patient yeah. or saved their loved one. Dr. Rojo, you, you've done palliative care, yeah. you've done end of life and, and cancer and various other forms of people dying. Has that been quite prevalent to you where um, families have taken the anger and frustration out on you? Yes, um, it's occurred at multiple um, stages, but in palliative care I think there's a bit more acceptance um, because the person's been told that they are coming to the end of their life. Um, and the family's aware, so it's a bit more supported. So just for the um, sung at home, what is yeah. palliative care? Uh, palliative care is when you, when a person's come to the, uh, they're experiencing a significant disease, so mainly it's cancer, um, and it's the terminal stage, terminal mm -hmm. phases of that cancer. Uh, when the doctor's kind of said, you have got X amount of years or time to live, um, and it's mainly about symptom management. Okay making them feel comfortable towards the, the end of life. It can be quite a difficult yeah. period for families. Yeah. So after the anger, what's, what's going on from then? The, the next stage, or before I go on to the next stage, the anger could also be, um, you know, towards our relatives. Uh, we, we may kind of think that um, they were not there for us when mm. we needed them the mm. most. So those are kind of things that could bring up or arouse you know, these feelings of anger. The son's responsibility or daughter's responsibility and they could have done a bit more or the brothers okay. or sisters. So it's quite a blaming as well. Yeah. And what else in that stage, what, else, what other feelings or emotions can be revoked? The anger can actually be towards self as well, couldn't it? That, um, the person who is experienced a loss of a loved one, they can feel quite angry at themselves. And then that can turn into guilt, feeling um, quite guilty mm -hmm. that they didn't do en enough. So when we go through this phase, people can be angry at um, the person who's, who's passed away. When the person who's passed away, they can be angry at the person who's passed away. ਡਾਕਟਰਸ is that generally feeling quite quite arm in Sangat? I think it's a very common feeling. Yeah, it is. Um, so, you know, I want to kind of normalize that, that mm. um, it's a common feeling mm. that we all experience. Mm -hmm. we, we may have a different sort of journey in, in our grief mm. but some of the feelings that we feel are common to all of us yeah so after the younger stage what's the next stage going forward we enter into guilt guilt yeah okay i i think panji has already described that we may feel guilty about things that mm. we could have done mm. that or we may have um, um, not done 
Mm. Or we may think along the lines that we've done something wrong. Um, okay, but it's true that you can do a bit of bargaining as well. Okay, I mean, 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 Mm. Um, you know, look for a spiritual kind of outlet or whatever your belief system is that, you know, I'll do anything, just bring that person back. It's yeah. quite intense, it can be is quite sad. Superstition mm. as well? Um, it could be, I guess, yeah, it could be quite superstitious. Mm. But, um, you know, those, those feelings are really strong at that time. Um, they can turn into agitation because on one hand you're expected to go through life. Some mm. people don't get leave for, um, you know, if you, if you lost a loved one, you might not get time off work. So, you know, you have to put on a face, for example, and uh, carry on with your work. So that can make you feel quite agitated and with a good sign side and because no one understands or no one's given you the time to understand, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So... Did you have a lot of people who were angry and angry and angry? ਤੇ ਉਸ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ਰਮ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਐਸੇ ਮੌਕੇ ਚੱਲ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਕਿ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੁਝ ਜਾਂ ਬਾਬੇ ਕੋ ਚੱਲ ਗਏ ਜਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਅੰਦਰ ਕੁਝ ਕਹਿ ਕੇ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਜੋ ਮਰਜੀ ਸਰ ਕੋ ਲੈ ਲਓ ਸਰ ਕੋ ਵਾਪਸ ਕਰ ਲਓ ਜਾਂ ਜੋ ਛੋੜਾ ਚੱਲ ਗਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਵਾਪਸ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਆਜੇ ਯਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹ ਯਾਦ ਫਿਰ ਆਈ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਫਿਰ ਰਾਤ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਟਲ ਡ੍ਰੀਮਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਆ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਪੀਪਲ ਕੈਨ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਹਲੂਸਿਨੇਟ ਐਂਡ ਸੀ ਦੇ ਲਵਡ ਵਨ ਹਨਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਆ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ you know uh, since they've expired mm. um so some messages you know they can start appearing in dreams quite a bit mm -hmm. at that time is that dreams and is some sort of subconscious messages or is it wild dreams of of their loved ones passed away i think because they are focusing or thinking about their loved one on mm. a constant basis yeah uh, it's it's the way the mind works okay Uh, so whatever we focus on grows mm. and so when we're dreaming it's really a projection of our thoughts the jo sofne sanu ande ge pe jo pyare di sofne ande ge o jo hai ga o ek hissa hai ga um aaj jo cycle chalda hai ga dukh um vichora te afsos da te us to baad ki hunda hai ga sham to baad um ਗਾਂ ਜਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਹੋਰ ਕਹਾਂਗੀ ਕਿ ਗਿਲਟ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਸਰਵਾਈਵਲ ਗਿਲਟ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਸਰਵਾਈਵਲ ਗਿਲਟ ਜੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਤੇ ਫੋਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਇਨਵੋਲਵਡ ਇਨ ਅ ਰੋਡ ਐਕਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਹਮ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਟਰੈਵਲਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਐਕਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਡਾਈ ਹਮ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਸਰਵਾਈਵ ਯਾ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਅਪ ਵਿਦ ਥਿਸ horrible guilt that they have gone yeah. and you have survived um a champagne ji coffee soft na tar gaya ke kadi kadi jo hadsa ho janda hai koi accident ho jaye tusi done ikatthe gaddi ja rahe ho gaya te ek banda di maut ho jaye te thodi maut ho jaye tusi fir o sharm de naal tusi na khud baithe hunde hai gaya ke o o ki chal gaya main ki reh gayi hai gaya ya main ki reh gaya o ki chal gayi hai gaya te o vi banda no ਅਸੀਂ ਅਫਸੋਸ ਮੰਨਦੇ ਆ ਕਾਫੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਕੋਰਸਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਤੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਗਲਤੀ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਾੜੀਆਂ ਮਾੜੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ so as he ek tarah de ek depressive phase de vich chale jande ha ha ek si depressive phase de vich chale jande it's not depression can i just add okay mm. do you mind um, elaborating yeah so it's not depression in the clinical form it's um it's natural because this process of loss it really needs to be emphasized ke um they are depressive symptoms so the same sort of symptoms that you'd get uh, that you would get in depression but because um we know what caused it in terms of its loss the loss um then we don't want to kind of focus on the condition itself we just know that it's a part of the process it's a stage of the process so you will be low in mood of course you will be um eating patterns will change sleeping patterns will change um there won't be any enthusiasm in anything that you do for example 
um, you might not want to go out to your local um, events that you usually go to, not even go to work. So um, they can be all kind of signs of depression, but it's not clinical. Okay. So it's so depressive symptoms, mm. you could say. Yeah. So if you're in that state of mind, what should you do? I think I would like to add that, like Panji said, uh, grief needs to be um, handled in a normal kind of way mm -hmm. uh, without reliance on medication. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't take the way straight away. We should. No. See, जो कार्य है क्या आप रे खुद कार्य हम चलना चाहिए था आप रे उसको या वो गल करो के सिद्ध नाल मतलब थोड़ी जी खुल के गल करो के गल मेरे नाल हुई है and I just need you to be there for me there's people that you can talk to in counselling you can go to your GP at this point and let them know that I've just had a bereavement in my family and they know exactly you know what to do they might not do anything because they know that um, there's no need to do anything at this moment it's natural uh, it's going to take some time and they might check up on you a little bit later um, but if you let your GP know in your first in the first uh, instance um, then that's always a good idea uh, because if anything happens later on down the line then they are aware of that um, situation that's occurred in your life yeah <laughs> कि जब तक सी इस दौर जो गुजर रहे हों दे और जब तक सट नमी नमी लगती है थोड़ा जिधर माइंड है वो थेरेपी विच भी एंगेज नहीं होएगा सो तो अनु वेट करने वास्ते कि हाँ जाएगा कितना टाइम वेट करना पड़ेगा जो जो पहले छः महीने और तो साल तक जो दौर है वो काफी मुश्किल दौर है तो सी एक मतलब कि स्टेट चुनी होंडे जितने कि तुसी किसी दिन आल दूसरे दिन आल इंगेज कर लो कर सको साइकोलॉजिकल लेवल थे। ओके वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट मेड बाय हर्जो बंजी हर इस समटाइम्स वी कैन बी इन अ स्टेट वेर वी कॉन्ट फुली फोकस इन थेरेपी एंड इट मे बी अ केस वेर वी हैव टू वेट अ पीरियड टाइम � and the grief as well and that can be a quite a personal time there's there's no fixed time it can be anything from six months onwards that we can be focusing on it just to let you know our phone call phone lines are now open if you do wish to speak to um, our guest uh, dr rojoko and her uh, and the lines are open telephone numbers on the bottom of your screen you can also um, send us your tweets and your facebook messages um, all details on the bottom there so our lines now open um, if you do wish to speak to uh, either one of them or speak to both of them, please um, don't hesitate to give you a ring. You don't have to give your name and details if you do, don't want to. We can take the call and we can go straight into the questions. So, let your phone line home call. Okay, again, numbers are on your screen. Okay, again, just to see phone call, chan deo the phone lines call. Okay, number dial code number on your screen. To see the address, the expert, your doctor, your health court, the health center, panji. Okay, or not to see your after call. Okay, again. So coming back to depression, mm -hmm. that's the fourth stage, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's the last stage? The last stage is the acceptance stage. Us which ki unda hai ga ki tusi apne dukh denal, apne loss denal, tusi samjata kar lende ho, or us denal jina sikh lende ho. So acceptance is is working with the understanding of uh, what's happened, working with the with the facts and then working closely about uh, moving on. At your acceptance stage, I guess. Can you deal with the acceptance stage? They can vary. I see coffee, coffee, well, like, and they give me cremation, who gear, body, chalky, who cut them grows and they cut them gray, get a give a do. The job on the act and they want to see you and they. You can only say that much because um, it, you know it's very personal. Hmm. Both personal, like um, to see how long they are is is dukh vicho. Gal kar ke hi pata lagega ke matlab o banda ke thik khada ga and dekh ke bhi matlab signs and symptoms hunde ne. Je to nu pata ga ke kisi the family member gujar ke ne. Fir to see ona gal karo. Just be there for them mainly. And to see उन्होंने देखो कि उन्होंने behaviour विच कोई change आई है तो अपना गाल कर दे पे ने जैसा पहले गाल कर दे पे से अपनी सेहत तो look after कर दे पे ने 
ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਨੀਂਦਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਖਾਣਾ ਪੀਣਾ ਚੇਂਜ ਹੋਇਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਟਾਈਮ ਦਿਓ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਉਹ ਕੰਮ ਤੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਪਏ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਸਾਈਨਸ ਆਫ ਰਿਕਵਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਥੋੜੀ ਜਿਹੀ ਦਿਸ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਦ ਪਰਸਨ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਆਫਟਰ ਦੈਮ ਸੈਲਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਸਟਾਪ ਪੁਟਿੰਗ ਦੈ ਐਨਰਜੀ ਇਨਟੂ ਨਿਊ ਐਕਟੀਵਿਟੀਜ਼ ਔਰ ਨਿਊ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ ਫੋਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਦੈਟਸ ਅ ਸਾਈਨ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਟੈਲ ਦ ਪਰਸਨਸ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਬੈਟਰ ਨਾਊ we've just talked about the five stages of grief in, in very very brief um, formality here looking at uh, the stages there is no finite time that um, one has to go through certain stages but we've got to be mindful of those who are suffering from grief loss and bereavement just being there for them just making sure they're eating well they're sleeping well they're changing well they're working and they're doing some sort of activity going forward which is quite compelling and quite needed um if you're trying to support people from there we've got a call come through um just want to take that for you guys hello 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 why did you go call so why did you give it there ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਕਹਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਕੀ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਦੱਸ ਜੀ ਪੰਜੇ ਕੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮੈਂ ਇਸ ਨੇ ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਆਇਆ ਵੀ ਇੰਨੀ ਛੋਟੀ ਛੋਟੀ ਕਦਾ ਤੇ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਹੂੰ ਹੂੰ ਲਾਈਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਪਸ ਐਂਡ ਡਾਊਨਸ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਰਾਈਟ ਜੀ ਹੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਸੁਣਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਪਾਠ ਪੂਜਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਕਰਦੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਦੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਵਾਲੇ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੁਕੜਾ ਐਸ ਮਾਈ ਸੈਲਫ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਡੋਟ ਪ੍ਰੇਅਰ ਹੂੰ ਹੂੰ ਤੇ ਲੋਗੇ ਨੇ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਆਈ ਹੈਡ ਫਾਈਵ ਇਨ ਰੋਕ ਪੈਕ ਹਾਂਜੀ Banji thank you for for making sure. that comment. Um Dr. Joe what's your thoughts on that? I think sometimes her Banji um there's no one else in your life to share that pain with, you know? So as you can see um and thank you so much for sharing that. Um that's really really common, you know? Um and sometimes life which is up to see carry ups and downs on the and tode naal koi vi nahi khada hunda, you know? and odo fir kitna gal karoge tusi fir apne bhai guru de naal gal karoge apne rab de naal gal karoge allah or you know whoever you, your belief system is um othe fir tonu strength mildi hai and oh fir time langda thoda thoda dukh te rehnda hai na um par it's always important ke koi na koi kisi kisi de naal gal karo tusi koi neighbor hove friend hove thoda je share karoge na fir oh hola tusi mehsoos karoge fir tusi realize karoge ke problems matlab um ke anu hunde hai life vich matlab kai problems hunde hai life vich fir ek dujje na gal karoge thoda je fir apa jee sakde hai banji um banji's talked about um going to depression Jee. and that terminology is used quite yeah commonly kafi bande kehnde hai depression chal gaya hai as he we did mention that is depressive traits not depression to see ki kahenge banji no ke be depression wale right in this form ਪੰਜੀ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੀ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਦੁੱਖ ਦੂਰ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੀ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇੰਨੀ ਗੱਲ ਗੱਲ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਕਿ ਪੰਜੀ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਦੁੱਖ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਦੁੱਖ ਵੰਡ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਜੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਵਾਪਸ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਿਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਇਸ ਜੀਵਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਤੱਕ ਸਾਡਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਵਾਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਛੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੈਲਪ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਫਿਰ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਥੋੜੇ ਬਹੁਤੇ ਖੜੇ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਸੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਕਹਾਂਗੀ ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਲੈਣ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰੋ ਔਰ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਰਸਤਾ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਕਿ ਆਪਣੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰੋ ਤੇ ਨਾਲੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਨ
ਜੋ ਪਾਰਟ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਉਹਦੀ ਸ਼ਕਤੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਕਈ 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 ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਜੋ ਪਾਰਟ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਥੈਰੇਪੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਕਰੋ ਜੋ ਜੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਚੰਗਾ ਲੱਗੇ ਜੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੰਮ ਕਰੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਲੱਗੇ ਰੋ ਭੈਣ ਜੀ ਇਸ ਟੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਲੀਵ ਦ ਕੋਲ ਦਾ ਓਕੇ ਚਲੋ ਯਾ ਸੋ talking going um, about understanding and talking about the different levels we've got another call coming through so why guruji ka khalsa why guruji ki fate hello haan ji hello why guruji ka khalsa why guruji ki fate why guruji ki fate should i go on the next question or get on with the question uh, if you don't mind that's fine okay so um Both the Bergies talk quite eloquently about that. It's quite an interesting um, topic. Hmm. Um, and I agree, everyone's journey is different. Um, why don't we talk about that? Um, that's the reason why we're here now, because quite a lot of subjects that we talk about are quite tabooed. Um, we're not comfortable talking about that. Banji, why don't we talk about death? I think you can see it. ਉਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਸੋਚਣਾ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹ ਡਰ ਪੈਦਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਮਿਸਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਕੁਝ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਏਰੀਆ ਵੱਲ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਸੰਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਦੀ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਟੁਰ ਜਾਣਾ ਪਏਗਾ ਸੋ ਫਰਮ ਓਪਨ ਜੀ ਸੈਡ ਹੈ ਕੁਆਟ ਲੋਟ ਇਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਫੇਅਰ ਦ ਫੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਟੋਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਦ ਫੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਦ ਅਨਨੋਨ and not knowing what uh, not having any answers and sometimes the unknown is can be quite quite harsh on you because you don't know agge ja ke ki hona hai ki ki kitta hai we can only go by what scriptures are said or what people are. there is no um there's no way of addressing that fear directly and death being one of those t- subjects where it's it's quite powerful in itself and um it is one of those things that people say it's it's with life death is guaranteed whoever comes has to go and is that I, I i agree completely hmm. but this is why i don't understand why it's not talked about enough hmm. um, we know it's coming we don't know when it's going to come how it's going to come what form yeah. it's going to take um but it's a part of the life cycle hmm. um so if it's a part of the life cycle why aren't we talking about it and i get the whole concept that mm-hmm. it's the fear factor but being able to talk about that maybe it's a bit more when that time comes i know that it can prepare you for that mm-hmm. but it may be a bit more manageable maybe and that also depends on the circumstances and the age um, surrounding that yes yeah so when we talk about we don't talk about death are we talking in specific areas or are we talking generically or are we talking about gurdwaras what are we talking about here just generically like mm. just it's not just that it's just with the Sikh community it's mm. across the board what we tend to talk about here Um, yeah. I think it gets to the point where you you don't ever think that you're going to need or mm. you're always deluded in the fact that you're going to stay here forever but yeah. that's not the case. I guess it's also really difficult. So what's your thoughts on that doctor? Yeah, I guess it's um also the fact that you know we all have different beliefs about what happens after death. Um so that might be a contributing factor. Some people uh, just cannot accept the fact that death is you know the belief that it's an at the end part um others may believe that death is just uh, it's not the end uh so it might be it might depend on you know what your beliefs about what happens after death as well isn't it mm-hmm. so it can be it can be a tricky situation not knowing or wanting to talk about it um we talked about fear of the unknown and fear of understanding so it's one of the things it's it's a subject that needs to be mm. openly talked about um i'm f- very very thank you for your call allowing us You're to welcome. using as a platform hopefully these shows are designed to address and talk about openly about these topics that many people don't want to talk about because it's it's not easy and i did mention at the beginning of the show that this is a very very deep and powerful topic that we we're, we're touching upon um death um is is a very very powerful topic because once death happens there is no going back mm. and is there a bandit to leave it there so coming on and talking about guilt um and we talk quite a lot about guilt even afterwards um guilt continues to form is that part of the whole grieving process or is the guilt then uh, un- unresolved or is it formulated is it worked through 
I think guilt is part of the process, mm -hmm. and um, you know it, it will show its its uh, its had from time to time. Mm. Um, so you, you cannot say that you know um, it's been resolved mm. completely. There may be times in your life when certain things happen. Yeah. There could be special times like, you know, anniversaries or um, other events uh, whereby you may look back on time and think mm -hmm. about certain things and the, st the guilt feelings still may um, surface. surface again. Yeah. It's quite interesting you mentioned uh, that you have guilt you're feeling on the religious festivals that they coffee on the year now a lot of people doing uh, uh, uh sorry Vesaki uh, time or weddings um take coffee may souls on the gig be ja all flan up and the hand yeah on the the old oh on the what message would you give to those who who are going through that process at the present moment and it's it's quite raw for them mm. what would you say to them I think people who have lost uh, their loved ones, uh, I think they are in a, in a difficult space. They are dealing with their loss and at the same time trying to deal with the society at large. Mm. Uh, so I think we need to be mindful of the fact yeah. that people are going through a grief process. It's, it's a unique journey for each individual mm -hmm. and we need to give them respect. Sure. Birthdays, anniversaries are quite... Um, significant aren't they hmm. and that happens quite a bit birthdays anniversaries death anniversaries yeah as well. um, we've got another call coming through why could you call call so why could you give it there and you why could you call so why could you give it there and you can't do it and this will be she's never good and you can see I started to see the program I've been watching for half an hour or so and um, Thank you for joining in And it's, it's a, you, you bring some lovely topics and uh, I really enjoy watching your program on, on a Monday evening mm -hmm. and um, I don't know if you mentioned that somebody is going through bereavement mm -hmm. Uh, families, then you know, you have, um, as, as it was mentioned about um, how you get sort of, you're very emotionally charged mm -hmm. and, and uh, you might say things. We, we mentioned, we mentioned uh, quite a lot of anger towards yourself, towards um, the, lost, the, the loved ones passed away and to family as well and to the medical professionals themselves, you can have that anger Sometimes, sometimes in that position, we we do uh, lash out to our nearest and dearest. Um, Anji. 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 Yeah, Anji. Anji, but uh, is, uh, uh, people who haven't been through bereavement, mm -hmm. they take it very personally. Mm -hmm. um, so, so obviously they haven't been through that experience, so they mm -hmm. don't understand uh, that anger isn't mm -hmm. uh, straight to them. It's because you are going through bereavement, and sure. you know you could say a lot of things which may yeah. not be said normally. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask a question to you, Dr. Ajo. Talking about um, passing or talking to someone in anger um, with a friend, a relative, or a loved one, what to do with lashing out? I want to add to that question about children as well. Because children sometimes are not going to go through bereavement as, as adults would do. Yeah. So, how do you, or both open to both of you guys, how do you take that anger and process it in a positive way, but also how do you process the fact of bereavement to children? I think, um, thank you Benji for your question, um, I understand that, um, it, I guess we all need to understand the fact that this is a process huh? um, and we are going through a range of emotions. At the time when something happens we do lash out, we say things that we didn't mean. Um, 
but it's really important to stay neutral and be with that person through the emotional journey and you'll realize that you know they are going through a series of emotions that's the healthy way of doing it um, it can be, become quite complicated if we get involved because our relationships break then with families and that person then we don't really give them time to grieve properly um, so we have to be very patient and mindful and understanding that you know they might say something yes it really did hurt me um, but I will try Hanji, again what I mean is, hello Hanji Hanji what I mean is the general, general uh, we, we need to be aware of these things uh, a lot of the times people are not aware of this uh, this side of, of a person who's grieving Hanji. what they're going through and they take everything personally what what it said what, mm. although they might know that okay they, they're grieving but the general public doesn't understand that you have to uh, a lot of things are said and you just have to be basically be a work, bigger person and not take it personally yeah. and you know start sort of um, saying things about the person who's grieving or not that can or not that can it's, you know, it's, we, we need to be yeah. a little bit more understanding. Yes, that's right. Yeah, quite a lot of it comes back to compassion and and the uh, and, and and understanding is is, is what uh, Benji you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Just coming back, how to in bereavement we mm -hmm. get angry quite as part of the process we talked about. That's right. How can we manage that anger so it's in a productive way, so that we don't lash out to our nearest and dearest. Mm -hmm. I think when we are in that moment, it's very difficult to kind of mm. control your emotions. Mm -hmm. But I think it's for the relatives to be mindful mm. that the person is going through a difficult phase mm. and they need to have that kind of awareness that they can support this person um, by just being there for them. Mm. Um, sometimes, you know, you don't even have to share any words just your presence can mm. make a difference mm. and just sharing responsibilities can make a difference. So Angie, just to sum up that for you, sometimes we, we can't um, process the anger that we've, we've, the old emotions that we're feeling, we've just got to work with it. And sometimes it may be a case where you, you do say something in the heat of the moment, but sometimes you might have to go back and say, you know what, you might be the bigger person who's going through the and go, you know what, I was going through an emotional state at that time. It wasn't working for me and I can only apologize for what I said and actions I've done. It wasn't for me. And, and it comes back to communication. It becomes working with that shame, that guilt, the yearning and, and the denial as well. So hopefully it's answered your question. Right, um, moving on to, we talked quite a lot about uh, the recovery process of bereavement. Mm -hmm. um, when, how does that manifest itself? How does that work? In terms of recovery, uh, that's the stage whereby um, people learn to accept their loss. Mm. They learn to live with it. Um, so it's, it's the acceptance that's the key. Mm. That you're le learning to live with your loss. That it's not something to be got rid of, it's something to, to ride through. To live with it. And how is that for the Punjabi community? Um, it can be difficult for people, it can be very difficult. Um, acceptance in Punjabi, um, in Gurbani we call it hukam, so sometimes it's not so easy to follow the hukam and accept the hukam, um, you know, be in a state of acceptance that somebody's, somebody's um, gone forever that's quite powerful um, it's healthy though to go through these range of emotions it may take time uh, but it's not easy mm -hmm. it's not easy so coming on to what can a person who's going through bereavement or a bereaved individual um, what can they do for themselves I think again that's a very difficult question but they can do some practical things mm -hmm. they can learn to to look after themselves mm -hmm. so I will give you a metaphor um, 
along the lines that when we travel by air, we, we are told to first wear our own masks before we try and help somebody else. Mm. So if we are going through the grief process, we need to learn to look after ourselves wow. before we can look after our children and our families and you know, other people at large. Wow, that's a very, very powerful message. When I heard John Banjin, I I am to take in a sound to say, "Okay, just see how I just not jarry, okay? Just a quick problem on the okay? How I just see, see, but after you a mask, okay? After move the pant, okay? Fair, just a kiss, okay? Just a just a under the a mask pant, okay? The all the the sorry thoughts, okay? All the thoughts, okay? But let us see, after you have no, take care, okay? फिर दूसरे में फिर तो सी ठीक रख सकेंगे जो उसे खुद डूल जाएंगे ना तो बाकी तो जो है कि तो प्यार जो फैमिली मेंबर्स हैं कि वो भी डूल जाने हैं कि तो सारे जो तरीका होने चाहिए था ना तो आपे आपे करो फिर बाहर से दूसरे दिन जापो तो डॉक्टर आप सेम क्वेश्चन चाहिए व्हाट व्हाट शोर थॉट्स व्हाट एडवाइस वुड यू गिव and there are people who need the help and for that again I would say go to your GP they may not do anything but they record it so that anything that happens in the future they can help you with um, they can signpost you to services such as um, crews uh, which specialize in bereavement support mm -hmm. um, and you can also seek support yourself so um, seek therapies such as counseling or um, psychotherapy that would work for you you can do that privately um, but if you go to the GP uh, they can help you in the first instance um, by guiding you through that process yeah. I would also like to add that if your children are also grieving then you can encourage them to get support through schools. Mm -hmm. uh, most schools these days have psychologists or counselling yeah. services, mm -hmm. so you can tap into them that, and there are certain helplines as well that people can feed into. One of the things that say is that the children who as door is jarre gaye or preschool the teachers na bhi dasthe gaye apne man halka kar se gaye ya to si khud ja ke apne gp na gal kar se gaye the kafi organizations hai gaye groups hai gaye jitna crews hai gaye wo bhi to si unna nu samplat kar ke gal kar se gaye te naal hi private counseling bhi hai gaye ya kisi nu to si gal karni hoye man halka karna koi dosh ya mitr bhi kisi nu mar ja gal par halka kar se pe am cheez hai gaye ki apna man halka karna se jo man hai gaya wo kafi dunga hai gaya the talking about the mind how do you how do you relax that part of your mind that's been going through a roller coaster of emotions you're going through guilt you go through shame you're going through depression or depressive uh, things you go through shock numbness how can you overcome that because um, we've been told there is no linear stage so it can't be stage one to say four to five it can be one, five, two, three, whatever the notion yeah. is, what would you say, what advice would you give to that person? I think it's, it's normal to go through your feelings. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's not a linear process. You're yeah. going to move up and down the spectrum. Mm -hmm. So there's no shame in repeating your story or telling your story from time to time. Mm -hmm. Telling your story repeatedly is a form of healing. Um, the I call it earlier I mentioned friends and family what can friends and family do to to help those who are grieved with very very close um, loved ones or relatives passing away they can be there for them mm -hmm. uh, they can support them and if they want to to talk then just listen to them yeah just be there that's the message mm. give them time give them time. I think and that's a difficult one in itself isn't it we're really really busy these days um, but simply just to give somebody time in in, in a way of let's have a cup of tea together or a bed in it that can be really therapeutic for somebody um, so be there for them and give them time mm. give them your ear to listen to जो सारे मित्र होंगे है या मित्र हो या फैमिली मैंबरस हो परिवार के बंदे हो भी काफ़ी जो जो बंदा विछोड़ा चल गया है या उस फैमिली रखने वास्ते गलबात कर सकते है भावें तुम उ जाके पाँच दस मिनट जाके नाल बैठ के चाह चो चाह पी लो 
ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਥੋੜੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਲੋ ਮਨ ਥੋੜਾ ਹਲਕਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਜੋਣੇ ਕਹਿ ਕੇ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਬੰਦਾ ਦੁੱਖ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੋਏ ਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਹੌਸਲਾ ਦੇ ਵਸੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਕਿ ਬੰਦਾ ਪਤਾ ਚੱਲੇ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਹੈਗਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਸਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਸਾਡੀ ਦੇਖਭਾਲ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਹੈਗਾ ਜੋ 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 ਥੋੜੀ ਬਾਅਦ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਕਿ ਕੀ ਦਰਦ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਿਸ ਜਿਸ ਰਾਹ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਰਾਹ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੰਦਾ ਨਾ ਕੰਦਾ ਮਲਾ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਗਿਆ ਵੀ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਟੂ ਮੋਰ ਟੂ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਦ ਐਕਸੈਪਟੈਂਸ ਵਾਟ ਇਸ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵੀ ਔਨ ਰਿਕਵਰੀ ਫਰਮ ਦਿਸ ਬਰੀਵਮੈਂਟ ਔਨ ਦਿਸ ਲਾਸ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਸਫਰ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਉਹ ਵੱਖਰਾ ਵੱਖਰਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਸਿੰਪਟਮਸ ਹਨ ਜਦੋਂ ਉਹ ਇੰਪਰੂਵ ਹੋਣੇ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਦੋਂ ਮਤਲਬ ਕਿ 2 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਤੱਕ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਬਹੁਤ ਛੋਟੀ ਜੀ ਸ਼ਿਫਟ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੋ ਕਈਆਂ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਲ ਹੀ ਗੁਜ਼ਰ ਜਾਣਗੇ ਕਿ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਸੇਤਮੰਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਮਝਣਗੇ ਐਮ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਐਮ ਟ੍ਰਿਗਰਸ ਵੀ ਫਿਰ ਆ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਹਨਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਗੋਟ ਓਵਰ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਗੋਟ ਓਵਰ ਐਮ ਦ ਐਕਸੈਪਟੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਲਾਸ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ ਕਮਸ ਅਨਦਰ ਲਾਸ ਫੋਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਐਮ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਜਸਟ ਰੀ ਟ੍ਰਿਗਰਸ ਥੋਸ ਇਮੋਸ਼ਨਸ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਰੀਲੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਵਰਕ ਥਰੂ ਥੈਟ ਐਮ ਟੂ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਡਾਊਨ ਥ ਥੋਟਸ ਫੀਲਿੰਗਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਮੋਸ਼ਨਸ ਆਫ ਵਾਟਸ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਥੇਅਰ uh because it can be quite strong the exact same feeling that you had can come back again yeah. and again and again so it's really important to kind of identify ke mm. that can happen yeah it's like opening a wound yeah um and that wound needs to to fill do we fully recover from this loss <laughs> we learn to live with it yeah kadhi kadhi jo never kadhi kadhi jo si as door chal jata hai kadhi kadhi si ਪੂਰਾ ਨੋ ਉਹਦੀ ਵੈਲਿਊ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਐਕਸੈਪਟੈਂਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਕਦੇ ਕਦੇ ਕਈ ਬੰਦੇ ਉਹ ਵਿਛੋੜਾ ਨੋ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਹਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦੇ ਐਸੀ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਦਵਾਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਜੋ ਆ ਨੋ ਠੀਕ ਕਰਦਾ ਪਰ ਕਦੇ ਕਦੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਜੋ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਐਕਸੈਪਟੈਂਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਪਰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਮਝੌਤਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਦੇ ਕਦੇ ਕਿ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖਣੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵਸੋਟ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਕੰਪਲਿਕੇਟਡ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਨਾ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਟਰਨ ਇਨਟੂ ਕੰਪਲਿਕੇਟਡ ਗ੍ਰੀਫ ਅਮ ਵੇਅਰ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਹੈਡ ਮਲਟੀਪਲ ਅਮ ਡੈਥਸ ਮਲਟੀਪਲ ਡੈਥਸ ਔਰ ਮਲਟੀਪਲ ਗ੍ਰੀਵਿੰਗ ਲੋਸਸ ਅਮ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਐਂਸਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਅ ਸ਼ਾਰਟ ਪੀਰੀਅਡ ਆਫ ਟਾਈਮ ਥੈਟ ਕੈਨ ਬਿਕਮ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਕੰਪਲਿਕੇਟਡ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਕ੍ਰੋਨਿਕ ਅਮ ਗ੍ਰੀਵਿੰਗ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਅ ਇਟ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਅਡਰੈਸ ਇਟ ਐਟ ਦ ਟਾਈਮ ਥੈਟ ਇਟ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਅਲਾਉ ਯੋਰਸੈਲਫ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵਨ ਔਰ ਟੂ ਇਅਰਸ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਓਵਰ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਅਦਰਸ ਮੇ ਨਾਟ ਹੈਵ ਅਲਾਉਡ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਸੋ ਥੇਰ ਆਰ ਸਰਕਮਸਟੈਂਸਸ ਵੇਅਰ ਬਾਈ ਵਰਕ ਮੇ ਨਾਟ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਸਪੋਰਟਿਵ ਔਰ ਯੋਰ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਮੇ ਨਾਟ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਅਮ ਸਪੋਰਟਿਵ ਸੋ ਥੋਸ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਕਮ ਅੰਡਰ ਕੰਪਲਿਕੇਟਡ ਕੰਪਲਿਕੇਟਡ ਅਮ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਥੇਰ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਡਿਲੇਡ ਗ੍ਰੀਫ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਫਨੀ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਅਮ when somebody's going through a bereavement you know that us family ne loss experience kita um par o roe ni aje ona ko matlab gusse ni hoye so they haven't gone through those emotions that can form into delayed grief so you know as we said it there's no t- it's not time specific we know that it can take up to a year
ਇਹ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਵਾਪਸ ਟੁਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਸੱਚੇ ਘਰ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਸਮੁੰਦਰ ਸਮੁੰਦਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਮਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਮੈਂ ਥੋੜੀ ਸੋਚਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਜਾਂ ਘੱਟ ਸਮਝਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਥੋੜੀ ਸਚਾਈ ਲੱਗਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਸੱਚੇ ਘਰ ਵਾਪਸ ਟੁਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਵਾਓ so fantastic dr jo your final thoughts can't be that one <laughs> um but let's be there for one another hana let's be there for each other and um let's start getting used to talking about our emotions now i think botoga we can hurt each other um but we do recognize it's quite evident to see when somebody's feeling sad when somebody's happy when somebody wants to hide away um but let's start doing something about those emotions there's not many emotions there's um, a handful possibly what the word 10 around now 6 um and let's get used to recognizing those emotions and recognizing when somebody's um feeling those emotions and talk about it um just want to say a big thank you to our guests who have come today to what what and what and all about times and because with i'll also like to say a big thank you to the callers who have uh, bravely called in and uh, come on live on air and talk to us about what's going on for them talking about loss um bereavement and grief it can be quite a difficult thing um everyone will go through it uh, we need to process what needs to be done sorg bichora of source i apni zindagi de khedne aise koi time nahi ga ki kyon do aayega kyon do jayega ki hoyega par sanu ek dukh ek dusre vas se dukh sukh vich rehna chahiye ga ਜੋ ਸਮਾਜ ਹੋ ਹੈਗਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਬਤੀ ਚੱਲ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜੋ ਬੰਦਾ ਪੁਰਾਣੀ ਜੋ ਬੰਦਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਸ ਦੌਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੰਦਾ ਦਾ ਕੰਦਾ ਮਿਲਾ ਕੇ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਚਾਹੇ ਮਤਲਬ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟ ਸਬਜੈਕਟ ਹੈਵ ਵੀ ਵੀ ਟਾਕਡ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਟੂਡੇ ਆਮ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਬਿਗ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਆਲ ਦਿ ਵਿਊਅਰਸ ਐਟ ਹੋਮ who have watched this tv live and have sent me messages on facebook twitter and all the media social work just want to say a big thank you to you guys and I shall see you guys next time on same time same place next week why critique our council why critique that